If you're an engineer, you've probably spent hours of your life manually reviewing the lowest levels of your designs, like ensuring passive components have the right headroom. You've probably also experienced just how tedious it is to pour through data sheets only to miss a critical piece of information, like how you needed a pull up on the pin that you left floating. Labor no longer because Flux now has AI design reviews. These reviews aim to change the way that you design by letting AI handle the tedious and low level checks so you can instead focus on what really matters, like the architecture of your design. In this video, I'll cover how to run reviews right now, how to handle errors and uncertainties, what AI design reviews are and their reliability, and what's coming next for AI design reviews. Let's dive right in. This design is an embedded machine learning AI pendant with four mics and a camera on board. It was made by my friend Collins. Due to the quantities of scale, wherever possible, engineers like to reuse their passive components. The trap this often leads to, especially for a capacitor, is when reusing the right capacitance, an engineer might forget to check the voltage rail, which can derate the capacitor into oblivion. Typically, this means at the end of the schematic design process, one must manually review each capacitor. This is the same for all low-level aspects of the design, like resistor power ratings or pull-up pull-down resistors. So instead of spending hours on not just one review, but many, I can just check out the new AI design review tab. In this example, I'm looking to just run the capacitor voltage rating check. I simply click on run and wait for the results. After the review finishes, I expand the tab to see the results. Since this is still in beta, I quickly confirm each review seems correct based on the immediately accessible table. Then I focus on any error or uncertain results. For instance, on C14, I see both a missing voltage rating for the capacitor and operating voltage for the net. Luckily, I can just ask Copilot to dive into the datasheet of the capacitor and extract the voltage rating for me. Now that I have the voltage rating, I can click the designator to select the component, change to the inspect tab, and add a voltage rating property to the capacitor. After that, I click on the connecting net and add an operating voltage. And again, if I wasn't sure, I could always ask Copilot to extract it from the datasheet, for example, if it was an output of a pin. Rerunning the review now, I got either a pass or fail. In this case, it was good that I reran because my voltage rating didn't meet the necessary margin. Now that we know how the workflow actually looks, let's take a look behind the scenes to see how these reviews actually work. DRCs exist in almost every design tool specifically as a static check that automatically runs in the background confirming binary design constraints. AI design reviews move beyond this, and while it does cost credits to run reviews versus the free DRCs, the reviews process is a dynamic context system that views your entire design, such as data sheets or properties. This allows checks that were never before possible. Now that we have an example and the philosophies of AI design reviews, let's take a deeper look at the reviews tab. Inside the new review tab, you'll find both categories for AI design reviews and your layout and schematic DRCs. Click on any AI review category to see all the available reviews. Right now, this feature is in beta. So check the documentation link below for the latest updates on AI design reviews and DRCs. Clicking on a review shows a dropdown with details and configuration options. As you saw in the example, all you need to do is click on the run button and wait for a result. After a review is run, you'll see its status in the Review button. Clicking on the review will show you each circuit element evaluated. You'll see different severity levels, error, uncertain, or pass. Pass or error means that the check criteria was either met or it wasn't met. Uncertain means that there's not enough information, unknown settings, or ambiguity in the design. When you click on a check, you can view more information about it. You can even chat with Copilot, much like consulting a human reviewer. In this expanded check view, you'll see an explanation of the status plus a focused results table. If you see a check with an error or an uncertain result on the part of the schematic you know is okay, you can mute that check. Just right click and select mute. This will stop that element from being checked until you re-enable it by clicking open. Now, as of this video, AI Designer Views is still in its beta but we'll continue to add and improve checks based on requests from the community. So if you want to request a specific check, feel free to submit a request in our feedback portal. 
Influx, the hard in hardware, just got a little bit easier.